friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen, this is Intentional Living, and today we are stuffing my cash envelopes and sinking funds for the second time, second time for November <laughs> with my full-time income. And we should be stuffing $830 today, so let's pull our cash out and give it a quick count before we jump in. So, we have... 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 610, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 700, 710, 715, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 800, 805, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 830. So all of our money is here and we are going to get started. Hope y'all are having a great day. I am having a good day myself. We do have some money left over this week, so we will definitely be adding to our $1 challenge. So in coffee, we have one, two, three, and four dollars. And we are going to put in a 10 for this week. In eating out, we also have some ones. We have one, two, three, and also four dollars in here. And we'll be adding 40 today. Let's get some bad looking 20s. So 40 in eating out. I'm trying to eat out less. I just did a really big grocery run this morning. So hopefully I don't spend all of this. Lunches, we're adding 25, but we do have $2 left over. So let's do 20 and five in lunches and same thing with this hoping to eat lunch more at work and not eat out weekend fun is empty and we are adding 25 today so usually I put all the gross 20s at the front so i can put them in my wallet but i forgot to do that today so 25 in weekend fun and i have literally no plans this weekend um colin's out of town and i have so much to do in my etsy shop so i'm hoping I can save this money and then put it somewhere else at the end of the week. And then miscellaneous is empty and is getting its usual five. So that is it for my wallet. And I do have receipts actually. So let me pull those out that I need to scan into Fetch Rewards. My referral code for Fetch is down below. It's a great way to um, earn cash back or um, gift cards, I guess, for scanning your receipts. And if you use my referral code, you'll get $2 when you sign up and I will get $2 for referring you to the app. So check it out. It's really satisfying to get gift cards from just doing normal shopping. So on to my cash envelopes. Today we are adding $10 into clothes. So we have 20, 40, 50, 65. And I am going to try and sell some clothes to some like um, thrift stores or not thrift stores, but um, like where they buy your clothes and then they sell them at discounted rates to people. Um, I'm going to try and sell some clothes either this weekend or next weekend. It'll probably be next weekend because I probably need to wash and fold them nicely. Um, so anything I get from that, I will probably put in here. Okay, date night is getting $5. So we have 10, 25. Okay, I just had a cough attack. Um, I added $5 into date night and we have 10, 25, 35, and 40 in here. Fitness and wellness is getting $5. So we have 25 and 30. Gas is getting its usual $25, so 20 and five. So now we have 50, 70, 85 in gas, which is good. I also have a referral code for a gas cashback app. It's called Upside and I get a lot of um, cashback for getting gas. So would recommend using that referral code down below as well. 
giving is getting five dollars so we have five ten fifteen twenty and twenty five in giving and going out i did go out this week on a wednesday for dinner and cocktails so i did pull a little bit of money for cocktails out of here so we are going to take these two one dollars out and then add a five today so we have 205 and going out Hosting is not getting anything today, but we do have 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 215, and 220 in hosting. We just really don't need more than that, so I'm just not going to add to it for a while. Medical is getting five, so we have 10, 25 in medical. Would love to get that to like 100 by the end of the year. That would be nice. Rosie, which is my sweet dog, is getting $5. So we have 50, 65, 75, 85 in Rosie. Self-care is getting $5 also today. So we have 100, 120, 130, 140, 145, 150, and 155. And I do still need to unstuff this. I'm trying to save some things to do a formal unstuffing because y'all have been requesting that video. So that's why I haven't unstuffed that yet. Spending is getting five. So we have five, 10, 15, and 20 in spending. And then toiletries is also getting five. So we have five, 10, 15, and 20 in toiletries. And then Buffer is not getting anything and it has $10. I did pull from this this week and to give you, obviously I'm not being consistent with what I am and am not unstuffing, but to give you an idea of what I use this for, I paid for parking when I went out on Wednesday because I was downtown and it was $10. So I don't really have an envelope for things like parking and the stuff in my wallet um, I had already spent. So I pulled it from Buffer. So that's like an example of what you could use a Buffer envelope for. Hey friends, pardon the interruption, but I do have a little surprise slash announcement to make in this video. I have been working on something really special to release at the end of the year, and I am going to show you what that is. It will be listed in my shop on Small Business Saturday, which is the Saturday after Thanksgiving, which is November 26th. I will announce on my Instagram page and here when these will go live. I'm just not sure yet. So hopefully it is on the screen now what time on the 26th that these will be on my shop. Um, there will also be a very limited quality quantity because um, they do take a long time to make. So limited quantity, they'll be up on Small Business Saturday. My sale for Small Business Saturday, which will be 20% off my shop, um, will not count towards these. So there's going to be just a few items that are not included in the 20% off. And it's this item and any of my savings challenge binders, um, just because they take so long to make and they are pretty expensive to make. So here is what I am dropping. I love, love, love an advent calendar. And I thought we should have an advent calendar for envelopes. So I will be releasing Advelopes, which are advent envelopes or 12 days of envelopes. And this is my little logo. And this is the matte version that you can get um, with a matte cover like this. Um, they come with these matte black um, hardware and this loop to keep it closed if you want it but if you don't you don't have to use it but as you um in transport it's nice to have it closed a little bit so this is my envelope binder so when you order this you will have some options so you could do this matte dashboard here which is on the front and the back um with the vinyl here or you can choose a clear version so this is a clear dashboard um, so if you, if you prefer that, you can get to the clear version and then you'll have the choice of either zipper pouch envelopes or, em or, um, laminated envelopes. So this is what the laminated one looks like. This is what the zipper one looks like. The zipper ones are quite bulkier because of the zipper. Um, but the beauty of this is 
because it's an a, uh, advent calendar for envelopes, you'll open one a day. Um, and it is in this binder situation, but you it doesn't have to be. So like at, when it's all said and done, you can just open this and take the envelopes out and put them in whatever binder you want them to be in. So choose zipper or laminated based on what you already have in your system and what you'd like to you know add new envelopes to. So the beauty of this is you will not know the design of the envelopes. Um, so if you're someone who purchase, purchases my mystery envelopes a lot, this is a really fun idea because you'll get 12. So it's 12 days of envelopes, 12 days of Christmas, 12 Advent envelopes. So what you'll do is you will purchase this. I will ship it out. Um, my goal is to ship all of them on December 1st, which is why I have a limited quantity because I'll have less than a week to assemble all of them. Um, so my goal will be to prioritize these, ship them out so that you can start opening them on December 12th or the 13th and open one a day until Christmas or Christmas Eve or whatever you would like to do. So what you'll do is you'll have this binder, you'll get it, and it will look like this. So you, it'll be a blank envelope. You won't be able to see anything on it. Obviously you'll tell me the 12 categories that you want and then the design will be a surprise. And if you have like a color scheme that you want me to stick with, I'm happy to do that as well. Um, so, but the actual design of each will be different and it will be a surprise. And I'm also, this is going to kind of unveil a new product that I'm going to have in my, um, in my store because I'll be doing a different type of label for envelopes. So this is going to be a sticker label um, with sticker paper. And so it will, you'll have it inside here. So you'll say it's day one, it's December 12th. You wanna start your 12 days of envelopes. You'll open your binder, you'll go to the first envelope and you'll come in here and you'll pull out the label and say it's groceries. It'll have a special design for groceries. And then you'll just peel off the label and stick it down yourself. Um, and you probably will want to use a credit card just to get work out any air bubbles. And that is how you'll do it. And so then you'll go, you'll have your envelope for that. And then you'll go to like day two, day three, etc. So you'll actually get to apply the label yourself. So say you already have some blank envelopes at home, but you want some matte laminated ones. You could always order, you know, the matte laminated with the sticker, but then put the sticker on some zipper envelopes you have at home already. The goal with these label um, designs is that if you, you know, want to just keep the same zipper envelopes, but you want new labels, you'll be able to just buy labels in my shop come 2023 as well. So it's kind of like test launching something that I'll be providing in 2023. But I didn't get that test launching something I'll be providing in 2023, but kind of in a fun way, um, especially if you like the mystery cash envelopes. I will have a very limited quantity of these, like I said, and um, if you don't purchase it on Small Business Saturday, I will not guarantee that I ship it on December 1st. Um, so you might not get it in time to do like 12 days of Christmas. So you might get it later in December. So you would have to do it like in early January. So I hope you like this idea. I'm super excited about it. I've been sitting on this since last year, um, but I didn't have the idea fast enough to launch it for Christmas time. So I'm excited to do that. Um, this one I just think looks so chic and so fun. I think I would like this one more with a matte dashboard, um, but the zip pouches are really cool. So you'll get 12, you'll tell me your category, you'll tell me your color scheme if you have one. They will be labels that you apply yourself, which is how I can keep it a surprise. And they will hopefully ship out uh, around December 1st so that you can get them in time, no matter where you are, to start this on December 12th or December 13th. So let me know if you have questions down below and I'll respond to those in the comments and stay tuned for Small Business Saturday and log on early if you want to get one because there will be a very, very small quantity. So back to your regular video. Next up is our shared expenses in our bills. So we are adding a hundred to groceries and we do have two $1 bills that we'll pull out. And I think I'm gonna do 20s. So 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100 is going into groceries. And I can tell you right now, I already spent that today. <laughs> but it's fine. I did a large, large grocery haul. Household is getting $10 and we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, and 84. I think I'm going to add a one just to make it 85 so I don't have to put all of those down. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 85 in household. 
don't want to completely sometimes I'm I don't always put all my ones in my one dollar but I try to put most of them yard work is getting five so we have 25 and 30 which means it's time to pay Colin I pay him every time I reach thirty dollars in here is it yummy for you is it yummy good girl good girl Okay, home maintenance is up next and it is getting $5. So I have 50, 75, and 80 in home maintenance. Rosie came in if you didn't hear her. I think she's confused why I'm talking to myself. Furniture is getting five. So I have 100, 200, 250, 260, 265, 270, and 275 in there. Future savings is getting $20. So I have 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, 390, 410, and 420 in my joint savings with Colin. We each contribute $20 a week. And now on to bills. Rent gets 190. So 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. 51, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. So now this should be fully funded for the month. So we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 500, 550, 570, 590, 610, 630, 650, 670, 690, 710, 730, 740, 750, and 760. Yes, 760 in rent. My rent is 750, so we're even a little over, which is great. Utilities I upped to $50 today just because they've been more expensive lately. So now in utilities, we have 20, 40, 55, 56, and 57. And I am going to leave those ones in there for now. So 57. My phone bill is getting 15, so a 10 and a 5. So we have 10, 25, and 30. Halfway there for next month. Apple is getting five. So we have five, 10, 11, and 12, but I will take those ones out. So now we have 10. Monthly giving is getting 10. So we have 10. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And I think I'll leave a one and make it 25. Just because I did, um, I had to put more towards bills this month. So, um, what's the word? I'm trying not, I'm trying to like not take out of here as much. Insurance is getting 20, 20, 40, 60, 80, which is plenty for this month. It should be coming out in a few days, so we will wait and see what the total is. It's been like $75 recently, but it does fluctuate every now and then. My Roth IRA is getting 70, so 20, 40, 60, 70. And this should be coming out soon as well. It comes out about mid-month, so I have 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 70, 280. 280 and I believe it's 275 that comes out so we are good to go for that my gym gets $25 each week so 20 and a 5 so now we have 20 40 45 and 50 which is enough for my membership for next month I do pay $50 a month for membership and then $40 to $50 a month for small group classes that I opt into to pay extra for and then my bills buffer, I just wanted to add to, so we're adding 10 today. So we have 100, 200, 250, and 260 in here. And that will do it for this binder for today. Next up are our sinking funds. We are not stuffing as many as I would have liked because I did put more into bills than I typically do. 
just because groceries have been more expensive, utilities, etc. But we're always going to add $5 to birthdays, and we are working on my brother's birthday. So we have 25, 35, and 40 in my brother's birthday, which is fully funded. And then we have 50 in mine and 15 in my friend Bree's. So we have 105 in birthdays. And then the next couple we're not stuffing, but I will count them. Electronics has 500, 600, 700, 800, 820, 840, 850, 855, and 860. The goal is 1,000 in here by the end of the year, which I do think we will reach. Gifts has 10, 25, and 30, which is good. And then haircuts has 10, 15, and 20. And I did just get a haircut, so we are just saving for the next one. And then holidays is getting its usual five, and we are adding to Black Friday today. So we have 20, 40, 50, 65, 75. So 75 in Black Friday, the goal is 100 there. So we have 75 in there plus 50 in Thanksgiving. So that means, wait. Go away. 75 plus 50, so 125 in there. And I do need to bulk up this because I have big things at the end of the year. I have Black Friday, my anniversary, and New Year's all at the end of the year. So planner is getting skipped as well this week, but we do have 50, 65, and 70 in there. Savings has 7,000 saved in here, and we are trying to save an additional 3,000 by the end of the year, and that is what I'm using my medium savings binder for. I do sell these on my Etsy shop, which is always linked down below, and we are going to fill a $10 and a $20 today, so doing some lower ones, which I think are at the back, but I want to double check. So here's a 10, so let's add this one. We are getting dangerously close on these. So $10 and then a 20. There's a 20. Can't wait to unstuff these. It's gonna be so, so fun and so satisfying. Hopefully I did my math right. We'll find out when I do unstuff them. So we did add 30 in here today. I should, I'm officially on the looser of the two buttons because look at how big it is. So we're getting there for this one. Subscriptions has $50 in it, so we're not adding anything. And then volleyball, I am adding $5. So I have 50, 65, 75, and 80 in volleyball. And then my buffer today, I am adding $5 because it hasn't gotten some love recently. So we have $10 in buffer for my sinking funds. And that will do it for this binder. So last up is Big Blue, which is my A5 binder. And we are adding $10 today to car maintenance. So we are working on repairs. So we'll add a 10. So I have 500, 550, 570, 590, 610, 630, 640, 650, 655, and 660. So 660 in repairs plus 1,000 in emergency fund, 250 in deductible, and 100 in oil changes. So we have $2,010 in here which is lovely and amazing. And then Christmas today is getting 20. So I believe we finished travel last time, yes. So let me do a little recap since Christmas is getting close. This is how I save for Christmas. I have a tab for each person I'm buying a gift for. So my parents have 100, my brother and sister-in-law have 100, Colin has 200, friends have 100, and then other people, just like miscellaneous other people, has 200. So 
that's all for gifts, which I believe is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundred. And then in events, for Christmas events, we have a hundred, so that's eight hundred. And then for Christmas travel, I have a hundred, so that's nine hundred. And that was my goal, but like we're so close to a thousand, we should just go for it, right? So I'm gonna add another hundred into others, or it'll be just like a miscellaneous gift fund. So we are going to add 20 to this tab today. So now we have 220 in there, which means in total for Christmas, we have $920 saved. So by the end of November, I'd love to be at a thousand just so that we can start shopping. I have a long list and have ideas for people. I just haven't like committed yet. Europe, we are adding to our small savings binder, savings challenge binder, and we are adding a 20 today. So also hitting a lower envelope. And I believe that is also near the back, but you know, just gonna flip through them all, make life difficult. So 20 is right there. I'm gonna add our last 20 in there. And let's see how many more we have to stuff. So in this one, we have one, two, three, four, assuming five, because I thought we passed one. Yeah, five. Yeah, we have five more to stuff. And I've been stuffing one each time I'd cash stuff, which means there's five cash stuffings before this will be done. And I have two cash stuffings a week, so that means it's really two and a half weeks and we will be done with this, which is just so, so wild. But look how cute this is. This one is not selling as well as the others, which I don't understand because it's my, like, I just think it's so cute. Anyway, so Europe, we will count once that is full. My friend Kelsey's wedding, we are not stuffing, but let's see how much we had in it last time. We had 880. So we will just update that here. We just didn't have enough funds to work on that one today. And then seasonal activities is getting five. And we are adding to winter. So we have 50, 75, 85, 95. So five more dollars and we will be done with this. And then we'll be officially done stuffing this envelope for good because I am retiring seasonal activities. I just found myself not really using it much. So we are going to say goodbye to this and we're not bringing it into 2023. I will still sell it on my shop, so don't worry, but I won't be personally using it. What did I even say? 195, 100 in fall and 95 in winter. And then travel had 600 last time. So we are just going to update that here because I don't really want to count it again. And we stuffed $105 into my sinking funds today. And then last but not least, let's add to our $1 challenge. Let's see how many ones we are adding today. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 we are adding today, which is just wild. So here is that. Wow. And that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back. Um, I'll be filming today, Saturday. On Monday, I'll be filming my side hustle cash stuffing. And that'll be my next video. So I hope to see you there. Have a good week. Bye.